So here we go. We got a great uh, AP open response here from 2006 Form A, number one. Uh, all about uh, basically the very beginning part of the course, talking about describing a distribution, uh, looking at the center shape and spread of a distribution, uh, describing all of the, the statistics that go from looking at a sample. In this case, we've got two distributions that we're going to compare. So we've got some sort of carnival game involving a ping-pong launcher, and we're testing these two catapults to see how far they're, they're firing a, a ping-pong ball, and we're measuring that in centimeters. So we've got two quantitative distributions, and we have 40 uh, points of data here in each distribution, and we're going to compare the, the center, shape, and spread. So center, shape, and spread are the key features that I'm looking for. But I also want to mention any outliers or unusual features of the distribution. Are there any gaps uh, that are unusual or, you know, is the distribution bimodal, things, things like that. Uh, and then I just need to describe these similarities and differences in context. And then I think that's what the, what the question is all about. So we got part A, comment on any similarities and differences in the two distributions. Yeah, I'm going to talk about center shape spread. Maybe make a comment about outliers and talk about that in context. Part B, if the parents want to, want to maximize the probability of having the ping pong ball land within the band, which one of the two catapults would be better to use? Well, I mean, just by looking at these two catapults, I'd, I'd want to use the most consistent catapult. So it looks to me like catapult B, it, it has much less spread, it has a much smaller range, I think the standard deviation would be much smaller than catapult A. Uh, you know, and it looks like it's it's centered right around 138 centimeters. So I'm thinking wherever the target is, you know, if I if I put this catapult straight on 138 centimeters away, and the results from catapult B they're pretty consistent, I'm probably going to hit this target band. And that's exactly what Part C is asking me. It's saying, using the catapult that you choose in Part B, uh, how many centimeters from the target line should this catapult be placed? Well, I'm going to place the catapult where, wherever the center is of my distribution for how far the, I'm launching balls from the catapult. So it looks like the median is about 138 centimeters for catapult B. So I'll put catapult B 138 centimeters from the target line. And then hopefully a lot of my shots will land within the band because, I mean, the catapult B looks like it's very consistent. Uh, low spread for the, the launch distances in centimeters. Great, so let's check out the answers. So here, part A, center shape spread, gaps not letters too. So I said catapult A's launches are centered at a median of about 135.5 centimeters, while catapult B has a median of about 138 centimeters. I picked the median for center because... That's the easiest to estimate. I wasn't going to make a list in my calculator or try to do anything that, that crazy. I'm just going to estimate the center by looking at those two distributions. So again, notice I'm comparing the centers, and everything's in the context of the problem. So I said, while the centers are comparable, I mean, they're only off by a couple of centimeters, Catapult A's launches are much more spread out. They're much more variable than Catapult B's launches. The range is about 35 centimeters for catapult A, only about 11 centimeters for catapult B. Again, I'm, I'm estimating I'm, I'm estimating these ranges. It's, it's, it's okay to estimate. Uh, catapult B's launches are approximately symmetric. Catapult A's launches are a little bit skewed to the right, I thought. Uh, so again, I'm just trying to make the best judgment I can talking about the shape. You know, pick something and stick with it. Don't say it's kind of symmetric, kind of skewed left, kind of skewed right. Just just make a make a pick and, and, and stick with it and compare the distributions. Don't be wishy-washy. Just pick something. Defend your answer. Defend your choice. I said catapult B has no outliers. Catapult A has two potential outliers. That 120 centimeters and the 155 centimeters are kind of far away from the other launches from catapult A. So those are two potential outliers. Again, I'm not, I'm not going to go through the whole, you know, is it, is the 155 centimeters more than one and a half interquartile ranges from Q3? I'm not going to do that whole computation out. I'm just commenting that they, they're potential, they might be outliers. If I really want to know, I can go through the test. Uh, but that, that's not necessary for this question. 
so now we're saying picking the catapult that we would choose to get more launches in the band, catapult B, because we want to be we want consistency from the catapult. Uh, it has much less variability. It looks like a much smaller standard deviation, much less spread in the distribution than catapult A. And then I'm I'm given that that answer in C that I already said before on the other page, that we should place it about 138 centimeters away. Now I went I actually counted, so so I figured uh, the the band was about five centimeters on either side of the target line, so I counted how many of catapult B's launches were within five centimeters of the of the median. And I counted about 30 out of 40 launches would be in the band. So so again, I mean if this is if this turns out to be, oh actually it's 28 out of 40, like that's the, the college board's not gonna slam you on that when they grade these. It's it's you're just making kind of a quick estimate. You know, I'm I'm defending my choice with a little bit of evidence, but this doesn't have to be you know, I don't have to make a list in my calculator and get every all the details totally ironed out. You know, sometimes they want us to just look at distributions and kind of talk about them and, you know, slightly informal, but I'm defending everything using valid vocabulary, valid statistics in the context of the problem. So that is, uh, that's that question.